Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Ishe Golua Tolu Lope Oguleye Aya Adeusi. It's always an amazing time when I get in the kitchen and being able to share some wonderful, amazing recipes with you all. And today I'm doing something that is wonderful, healthy, tasty, and it will satisfy that quench. I am making Zobo drink. And Zobo drink is a drink that is actually famous all around Africa, even in the Caribbean. And Zobo is actually made out of hibiscus flower. Some people say sorrel leaf. In different parts of the world, it's called something different. We call it Zobo leaves. So I am making this delicious drink for y'all and now that the summer is beginning to roll in it's getting warm and it, the heat waves are coming and also all those allergies coming up in the springtime this is something that you need to have in your fridge and also even in the winter you don't have to make it cold you can drink it warm hot cold however you like it you can make it sweet you can make it less sweet you can always make it to your taste so guys let me introduce you to the ingredients we're gonna be using for this double Today, for this Zobo, of course, we're gonna be using the sorrel leaves, the hibiscus flower. This is what the leaves looks like. And for you to use this, you just have to put it in a sieve and give it a quick rinse on the cold water. That is how you, and you wanna do that so that you can get all the sand or whatever dust might have been on it off quickly. So you wanna do it quick. If you let it stay long while rings on it, it's gonna start losing all that flavor and juiciness. Of course, for this Zobo drink, we're gonna have some ginger. Ginger, and I always tend to go towards the organic ginger. I like the organic ginger because it tends to be more spicy. It gives that in-depth flavor of the ginger. I have sugar sitting in this bowl. I'm not using all the sugar, but I'm just showing you, you can always use sugar for sweetener or you can decide to use honey or whatever sweetener of your choice. For this Zobo recipe, I'm gonna be putting in some pineapple. I'm gonna be using both the pineapple peel and the inside of the pineapple. If you really do not want to use the pineapple peel, it's op optional. You can just use the second layer of it, like where you have all the, I will show you in a minute. But I'm gonna be using all the parts of the pineapple. I'm gonna put in some lime and lemon. Now for the spices in this drink, I love to put in some cinnamon sticks and I love to add me some cloves. So guys, this is Tolu Cooks and let the fun begin. Tell me who you know, who plans the better, that dream come true, yeah, 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 yeah. She not dare disappoint. The first thing I'm gonna do is, I have my sorrel leaves, the leaves I showed you. This was just for me to show you what it looks like being dry. But I have it already soaked in a bowl right here, and I covered it up. If you look at that, I can show you what the juice looks like. And for this recipe, you want to make sure that you're being very careful. Look, look how thick that is. The reason why I soak this ahead of time is because that way it gets out all the juice it, juices in it. You can actually soak it for at least about six hours ahead of time or if you know that you remember the day before you can soak it overnight it's actually better so now that we have it in this way i'm gonna put it in a pot add a little bit more water to it and let it cook for about 25 minutes so i'm gonna turn this into a pot then i'm gonna start working on my pineapple because i need the pineapple peel so this goes in a pot I'm gonna transfer it gently. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this before dumping it in the pot. And that should be good. And it's over here now, so. I'm gonna put all that 
in the pot. And this is gonna go on the stove. So while that it begins to steam up, I'm gonna come back here and get my penipum rinsed well first. You wanna make sure you rinse your penipum real good. Okay, so if you're not comfortable using the pineapple with the peel on it, what you can always do is, you see, that that's me getting out of the first layer. You can always come through for this second layer, like all the blackness on the pineapple, and use that layer. But I'm going to be using both. Because the inside of my pineapple, I'm gonna be extracting the flavor from that to make this drink delicious. And another thing is this some people like their zobo with different flavor. You don't always have to stick to pineapple, but the, on the honest truth is, pineapple is very very healthy especially the skin of the pineapple is also healthy I'm gonna add this into the pot of my boiling zobo so this goes on it and at this time I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my clove rinse my cinnamon sticks and I'm gonna put it in the pot stir it together cover it and let it start cooking prefer to crush up this for them to be able to get the flavor but when I put it in it cooks and it still extra hard the flavor so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and put this in I'm gonna mix it well and I'm gonna let it start doing anything you want to put this on medium heat and you do not want to cover your pot all the way so I reduce the heat to medium I do not cover my pot all the way because it will boil over and you really do not want to have that mess going on you learn from ex you learn from doing things over and over you learn from experience so now that I have that going the time it takes me to prep my pineapple and my ginger it's gonna be the time that I actually need for that to get cooked so it's like doing two things at the same time i'm gonna go ahead and cut up my pineapple Some people like to take out the core and cook it and cook it with the um, um, zobo leaf. I it really doesn't matter to me. I already put in the peel. If I wasn't using the peel and I was just using the second layer, definitely I will get out the core to add to it to give it that um, intense flavor. But since I'm gonna be getting the juice out of my pineapple, so I just go ahead and cut the core and the pineapple all together. So it really just comes down to preference of what you're doing. So today I'm using the peel and I'm using the insides. The inside, you can see this is the core. This is the core of the pineapple. 
the inside of the pineapple is gonna be my flavoring and the outside of it actually gives the um, the about properties it's very medicinal it actually help enhances weight loss it also help you um, lower your blood pressure and blood sugar also it helps promote um, uh, it helps promote and fight the bacteria and that is why a lot of people have been drinking Zobo even during this pandemic some people can decide to peel the ginger or you can decide to use it as is I'm just I'm still gonna save it so I am using it as is then for the quantity of Zobo that I'm doing I'm doing a very big quantity I'm, um, I'm gonna be sharing it with some friends and family so for the quantity I'm making which is gonna give me roughly about two gallons i'm gonna be using about two cups of ginger in it i want the ginger to show if you want to get you want your ginger to be more potent you can add more or if you do not like ginger that much you can reduce it but i'll tell you ginger is very medicinal and it's really really good for you can see I got my two cups of ginger right here then I have my lemon and my lime they are ready to go I'm gonna use two limes and one lemon and it's gonna help bring out the it's gonna help bring out the taste in the pen the sweetness of the pineapple you know it's kind of tangy but it helps it so the only thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and give this a good massage so I can get the juice out you can see now it's soft then you want to give this another massage you can see that now it's soft I still think I need to go a little bit more honey there we go see how hard this is I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a good massage there we go now it's soft to touch and I'm gonna cut that into two so at this time I get out my blender I personally because I do a lot of cooking I do not like to use the same blender that I use for blending my peppers and beans to do my drinks because constantly those blenders are going so I use the instant pot blender for my smoothies my drinks and it actually does a fantastic job we don't need to make that too full I'm gonna extract the juice from my lemon look at all that juice and from my line and once I get all the juice out of there because this is not getting cooked anymore I'm gonna go ahead and have some drinking water So I'm going to have one cup of drinking water to this and that goes on to blend. And nothing get wasted. The lemon and lime that I have left, I'm going to go ahead and put it into my boiling sobo leaves. So I'm 
gonna go ahead and blend this. The first batch is ready. We're gonna go ahead and pour that through her sieve. So I go through it with the sieve first to get out the juice out of it. Then I use my smaller sieve to go through it the second time to make sure that the juice is clear and very fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, I'm not gonna dump that out, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the first batch into it. I can sit that down for a while. So I can go on and blend the second batch. It's squeezing out better now because I put, um, I keep putting one cup of water and I blend it again. So I blended it three times with one cup of water for each batch. So like I did it like two, the first round was two batches, which I used one cup of water in each. So roughly this is about six cup of water that I used to wash out the flavor, the juice, the aroma, the whatever you want to call it from these and if you can see this is nothing but shaft and we do not want that in our drink. Okay so I'm gonna go into a bigger bowl because I have to be able to have enough space for me to add my Zobo into heat. So I'm just going through a smaller finer sieve to make sure that I get rid of all the pubs that might be here now. You ready? Our Zobo leaf has been cooking. If you look here, it has cooked down a whole lot and look at the color of that juice you see that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sieve it out into the mixture the ginger and the pineapple mixture that we have in this bowl with some water and honestly when you blend your ginger pineapple some people like to add in more different um abs this is the star anise they can put that they like to put in different components you can always add or take away from your zobo drink 
I'm just gonna keep it simple today and some culture some uh, some cultures goes with different variation on how they make their zobo you can use oranges you can use different kind of fruits that you like in making your zobo drink so now in this part I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a simple sugar solution so I'm gonna use one cup of water and that is gonna be our sweetener for this dish. I'm gonna let that water warm up a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and put in, I'm gonna go ahead and put in one cup of sugar. You can put more, you can take away. So, and I'm gonna let that melt in together and that is gonna be the sweetener that is going in this Zobo drink. And if anybody wants more sugar in it, they can always add more to eat themselves. Or you can always use honey. The reason why I dissolve the sugar in the warm water is because I want it to dissolve well while I have it poured in there. So in this, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the stove. And I'm using my very fine sieve. I'm just gonna go ahead and try and get out the juices, another leaf. My simple solution is ready. It doesn't need to thicken up. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my seed zobo. At this point, I already sieved down the zobo, but I'm gonna take my hot water, I'm gonna put it in so that I can get a little extra out so you see that's my hot water if I mix this for you look at this you can see that the color is still intense so that means we're not gonna lose anything out of this and I'm gonna go ahead and sieve it and once I save it I mix it together I will show you how to enjoy this delicious drink. Now, this is the quantity we were able to get out of the Zobo leaf that I did with one pineapple and two cups of ginger. And I also added some, um, some cloves and um, cinnamon sticks in it. So you can see this is still very thick, but I like to make it this way because I put it in the fridge and it goes or uh, it goes over high or it can be diluted. It's not too sweet. The sweetener in it is just one cup of sugar with the sweet uh, the sweetness of the pineapple. So if this is not sweet enough, you can always build up more um, sweet, uh, sweetness in it, like putting more sugar in it or more honey. So, but because my mom, my kids, I do not like them to consume, to, my family in general, I do not like them to consume too much sugar, so I leave this way. Let me show you what it's gonna look like in a cup and let's enjoy this together. drink is ready if you leave it out on the countertop it's gonna ferment over a period of days 
but if you want it to stay your taste to remain the same put it in the fridge and it's ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and put some over highs look how that comes out and how that is beauty and I just need to put and my drink is ready remember to hold on to your feet love your family and never let go of your wonderful beautiful friend this is the tree of life it keeps us going and grounded all the time please remember to share my videos remember to subscribe and remember to like click on the notification bell so that that way whenever i drop a video you'll be one of the first people to get the video i love you i love you i love you and see you on the next episode of tolu cooks